Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Kokoto games for the Nintendo Wii. Kokoto Fishing Master is a WiiWare title and since this store closed, you're very likely to never play the game, unless someone shares it online of course. But don't be sad, the game is pretty bad, not because the idea is bad, but because the controls are really bad. They are unresponsive and make catching even a single fish a painful chore. But luckily, if you want to play the game, you can get it on a PS2. And there, the experience is better. The controls feel way better on the PS2's controller than on the Wii's motion controls. And it seems that the two versions have the same story. I haven't played the games thoroughly, but from what I've played, they seem to be the same game. As for gameplay, it's an arcade fishing game, not a sim. You have to collect fish, one of each kind in all of the 5 maps, you get story cutscenes and 5 areas to roam in. The lures and fish are scarce, but the gameplay still remains fun. On the PS2, because on the Wii, the horrible controls will make you want to quit the game after the first 10 minutes you play it. Kokoto Magic Circus is average. It's a shooting gallery game. If you've played many Wii games or played at least one other shooting gallery game, you know how it goes. You point and click at the screen and shoot stuff. And you point and shoot in all of the 40 mini games. And 40 might sound like a big number, I mean, it sounds like the game is varied, but it isn't really, because most of them are slight variations of the same handful of minigames. Also the game is very short, taking you around one hour to finish it. I know many Java games that are longer than one hour, but at least the presentation ex is, but at least the presentation is excellent. Vibrant colors, fitting cell shaded graphics, but unfortunately, the game isn't really something. It feels half-baked. What you get is good. But the game needs more variety in order to feel complete. Kokoto Kart Racer is the typical kart racer imitation on the Wii. But this time, it's good. There's a difference too between Mario Kart and Kokoto Kart. The controls. If in Mario Kart you tilt the Wii mode to steer, here, you use your nunchucks analog stick to steer, B to accelerate, and with A, you use power-ups. You can hop by lifting your remote, and you can also drift. The controls are responsive, the tracks are varied, you get a nice number of characters and tracks, and the game modes are the classic, the ones you will get in almost any kart racer. You've got your usual championship, single race, time trial, and battle modes. You can play co-op with other 3 friends, and overall, it's what you would expect from a card game. Only that this time, it's good. Very good actually. Unlike all of the bad Mario Kart clones on the Wii. This one is actually good. Kokoto Platform Jumper is another reware, and at first sight, it looks basic. But it isn't. The gameplay has a nice deal of depth for the 25 levels the game has. You can collect apples to get another life, you can use weapons like pitchforks, and the idea of spitting lava to get to the top is original and works out. You get some boss battles too, and overall it's a good game. In Kakato Surprise, you have to fish for presents, in 4 different worlds. There are 80 presents in total and each present has an interactive toy. The game will be great for kids, because it doesn't have any sort of violence. But adults, and especially gamers, will find the game less appealing. The controls are finicky most of the time, and even if the gameplay with fishing presents looks great at first, due to the fact that this is all you do in the game, it will feel repetitive pretty fast, and will be dull unless you have someone with whom to play the game with. But I have to give the game credit for variety. It sure packs a lot. Kokoto Festival is a shooting gallery game. This time the game has less variety. The game isn't based on minigames anymore. It's based solely on shooting targets in an ever-changing scenery. The presentation is great, but I have to warn you, 
that the game gets very repetitive. The shooting rules are the same handful, and it doesn't help that the puzzles change, because after half an hour you will feel the repetitiveness of the game more and more. But if you're into shooting gallery games, the repetitiveness of the game won't be that bothersome to you. And now, as for Kokoto Kart 2, Game Facts lists and says that the game was released on November 13th, 2011. I found the game on Amazon. And there are various YouTube videos that have a footage with it. Now, I haven't gotten my hands on a Kokoto Kart 2 game copy, so I can't tell you from experience, but from the videos, I can tell you that this isn't Kokoto Kart 2. This is the first game, Kokoto Kart 1. If this is what Kokoto Kart 2 looks like, watch out, because you will get scammed. This is Kokoto Kart 1. I recognize the tracks and the gameplay style from the first game. If this game really was released and this is it, it means that they copy and pasted the same game and not copy pasted like FIFA copy paste. This time it's a full copy paste. No different menus, no different anything. It's the exact same Kokoto Kart 1. So yeah, watch out if you're collecting this game. And in case I'm wrong, please tell me in the comments if the YouTube videos are wrong. I'm curious.